Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the company update of Sierra Madre Gold and Silver at Commodity TV. Sierra Madre Gold and Silver gave an update on the progress of the La Guitarra project, which is a past producing mine and shall be fast be again brought into production. The mine restart study moves forward and the company retained Texer Mining consultants from Vancouver to complete the mine restart study, the MRS. This work will include an estimation of underground mine material for the Guitarra, Colosso and Nazareno mines and the Los Angeles bulk tonnage deposit. Additional evaluations will include an operating cost estimate covering the mining recovery plant based on reagent and consumable usage, energy and diesel consumption from the 2013 to 2018 operating period which will be updated for current pricing. Labor, staff and management costs will be based on the current wage structure and union labor contracts that have recently been signed. As part of the study, a capital cost estimate will be prepared to cover restart needs and will evaluate a potential throughput expansion within 24 months of commercial production. This data is to be supported by contractor bids and vendor prices. The above data will then be used in an economic evaluation to determine project viability. The MRS is, is expected to be completed in the Q2 of this year. The work on the mine and infrastructure moves also forward and is ongoing to determine necessary steps for the potential restart of production. In accordance with recommendations made by officials with the Secretaria de la Defensa Nacional, Sedena, improvements to the underground powder magazines have been completed. On 29th January 2024, Sedena approved Guitarra's 2024 explosives permit. This explosives permit must be renewed every year and was a milestone event for any potential resumption of operation. All other operating permits are current in good standing. Compressed 6-inch airlines have been installed from the stationary compressors near the main San Rafael portal to the La Cruz portal, a distance of over 1 km with a 240m gain in, in elevation. Compressors and electrical substations have been serviced and are operational. Minimizing initial development costs is one of the key factors being used to develop the near-term plan for advancement of the project. As areas are identified and scheduled in the development plan, the existing haulage ways, access drives and ramps are being inspected for safety and rock stability, cleaned and readied. All circuits in the processing plant are undergoing maintenance and rehabilitation work which would be required for the resumption of operations. In the grinding circuit, the three ball mills are being relined, all parts of the central drive shaft mechanisms overhauled and the motors cleaned and tested. A false ball mill will, with limited capacity will not be rebuilt at this time. Overall, the crushing circuit was found to be in good shape with no costly equipment replacement or major repair items identified. Normal maintenance and overhaul work is ongoing. The fine ore storage bin has had the interior dividers and portions of the walls replated with heavy steel. Conveyor belts and associated motors have been serviced and wear and tear items that have been replaced where needed. The flotation circuit is in good shape. Some piping is being replaced and the pumps are being overhauled and serviced. The Vemco flotation cells are in very good shape, needing only some replating work along with normal maintenance. No repair work required. A significant outlay of capital has been identified. The company's plant operations and maintenance team have advanced the preparation work for a potential planned restart with budget expectations. The MRS study an initial production level of 350 tons per day. Additional evaluation will be completed on potentially increasing the grinding circuit's capacity to greater than 500 tons per day. As part of the MRS, an assessment was made of the throughput capacity of each circuit in order to determine where bottlenecks might exist in potentially expanding processing throughput using the current equipment. The chart shows a bottoming out of the stock and we think it is a nice buying opportunity. A first price target is around the 50 cent level. VSA Capital has a price target of 90 cents, Canadian cents of course, which we also have in our view for the next 24 months. You find all information also on our Commodity TV app in German and English plus all about commodities. We are happy for a like, but more important, subscribe to our TV channels. Please note the following disclaimer. The share discussed will or is part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the company. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.